My question is, will COVID-19 kill Granny? Big question mark. Are you one of the good people trapped into a bad system? A metamorphosis of the declaration of war on clear and present danger? Almost everything they conditioned us with to believe about the making and sustaining conflict in and around the world is not valid. It is not true, folks. Truth. It's there is a triple threat on truth. And there's a satanic rebellion called PMS. P for politics, M for money, and S for spirituality. Can we use wisdom of insecurity to overcome perceptual anxiety? The definition of perceptual is relating to or in involving perception, especially about the immediate sensory experience. Is there a satanic rebellion going on? This is Brad Caleb, PhD. And you know, my PhD I earned in the school of hard knocks. One can be confident that certain people will always do well during commotion, because that is the foundation of their progress. However, can this pandemic of COVID-19 be a campaign that shows a full-scale satanic rebellion against the Creator? Let's find out. Good morning, this is Brad Caleb, PhD, and my PhD stands for Post Hole Dicker. Folks, we gotta keep on dicking for the proper foundation, because our society is suffering of PM rebellion. P stands for politics, M for money, and S for spirituality. Can we use wisdom of insecurity to overcome perceptual anxiety? The definition perceptual is of relating to or involving perception, especially about the immediate sensory experience. Like I asked already, is there a satanic rebellion going on? I earned my degree in the school of hard knocks. One can be confident that certain people always do well during commotion because that is the foundation of their progress. However, can the, the pandemic be a campaign that shows a full-scale satanic rebellion against the Creator? Why am I ashamed of calling myself a Christian? But if there were not for the believers of the United States, we would never have sun seen such a more disloyal, under-the-bus-throwing jackass in the White House. Is this the price we pay for doing business in a treacherous world? Fear and ego destroy this world, not armies. When I say echo, I mean ego. But I am so ashamed. The world of truth lasts forever. The word of a lie lives just for a moment. And it looks like our society just lives for the moment as long as it appears real. It doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. It sounds good. We are suffering with ridiculous fears. There are so many rules, and most rules build walls. So do not let your mind follow your body and bond it. You see, a while ago, Jesua HaMashiach, for some you may know him as Jesus, he dealt in his days with the Church of Satan. But is that still going on? We are now 2,000 years later, folks. Who are those people? What does it mean that there is a society out for destruction 
when a government is actively fighting to suppress the truth? Are we seeing euthanasia applied at its finest? Yes, folks. There is a dying of population with COVID and a lifestyle change on a large scale. Can we still be spectators? Or do we have to participate? Why does not everyone agree with pedophilia as being a crime against humanity? For those that do not recognize the word, it is a sexual perversion in which children are the preferred sexual object. Is our attitude of society not like a punch in the stomach of the third millennium culture? We ignite in a national uproar for a kitten roasted by a hungry migrant and we stay almost indifferent partially because of our involvement in the face of an increasing corruption such as pedophilia and the increasingly looming horror of child protection what does it mean to us and does it involve politics like i asked myself can we still stay spectators instead of participating? Occasionally, violence reflects a form of slavery. Sometimes children are tied up and chained. It seems to tell a whole. It is reality, says the founding priest of Mitre, a member of the scientific community of the Postal and Communications Italian Police and professor at the Superior Institute of Bioethics Sexuality of the Pontification Salesian University of Messina. The gruesome violence against infants with rape, torture, and even homicide, life on the deep wet chaps. From there, it is a small step from deep web to pedophile deep state. A pedophile deep state, folks. Friends, they let you pay for water you drink and the food you eat. They make you pay for the wars they need and the crimes they commit. Then they make you decide. Then they make you dedicate an essential part of your life to them. And they pay you wages and tell us what to buy and tell us what to buy and make them richer. What kind of people are they? Are they called the bankers who control them to have unlimited money? Do they make sure we have as little as possible so we become desperate and we go to them thus, become their sli slaves in the form of loans for the money we need? The cash flows back to them via bills, fines and debts. Do these international bankers hire oceans of people such as policemen, politicians, law enforcement, military to protect their slave empire? Meanwhile, does not see how they steal his money on the ground floor. He's just given a piece of paper in exchange for product or services and thinks this is fair to the common man. He does not realize how the international bankers printed enough money to buy you out and to buy out all the corporations causing massive inflation, which makes the 99% even lower. The common man does not understand of the $20 trillion US debt and the $200 trillion obligations of the world. Who are we indebted to? Are those the bankers? Is it true that COVID-19 is a biological and electromagnetic war supported by a vast smoke and mirrors operation which is sowing confusion among the medical and hospital personal ranks? Is this COVID-19 preparation for a much larger scale joint operation? Is it combined with a smoke screen to conceal large scale tests of the 5G weapons for criminals and that remain clarified? This is Brer Kayla, PhD. Tough times never last, but tough people do. If you are a survivor, then you know that you still can make that decision still can make that decision or do you keep the back channels open in the hope to stave off disaster you see god created all men and gave us women he also gave us the brains to understand them and this is called patience 
We all know that if a person has no faith, he has no patience. If we see the logic in taking control of our biohacking, that means we take control over our own health and our own spiritual health, we will succeed. Please let the past go, otherwise it hinders the future when it really counts. One more little thing. This is not a stress test. This is for real. From the sublime to the ridiculous is but one step. As Napoleon Bonaparte said, we're trading from Russia. God bless you. And please, remember, tough times never last, but tough Thank you.